I did not actually care. And I told him he was a loser. Yeah, exactly what you said then. Hey, I'm just gonna call you right back. Later. G'day, you've reached Ben's phone. Leave us a message. Yeah, look, Benno, it's me. Um, I'm just, uh, I can't remember the captain's name in the team. Is it Stinky? Is it um, Captain Doc? Is it the Bongo King? I can't remember. Can you please send me right back? Hey. hey! Hey! How you doing? It's Johnny! How hey, are you? And how Good are you? Good to see you, yeah. champ! Hey. Great to see you! Yeah. Hey, I'm just leaving a message with Benno. Hey, hey tell <laughs> Benno. Tell who it is. <laughs> this is tell Benno. who it is. Oh, yeah. message from uh, you Benno, have a guess who this is. You dirty dog. You tell him who it is. <laughs> you know exactly who this is, mate. I saw you absolutely smash last night. No, maybe, oh. Hey, well, maybe he doesn't know who it is. Yeah, tell him who yeah, it is. Yeah, he knows. You know who it is. Johnny reckons you don't know tell who it is. Tell him. <laughs> no, tell him who it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Um, see you, see you later. No, no, he might not know you are. <laughs> that was a good idea, Johnny. I like that. Hey, um... Hey, it's good to see you. Hey, um... Oh, I hate the way it sprays back on your shorts. Yep. It's good to see you here. It's good to see you, champ. Hey, how about that tackle I laid for you on the weekend, hey? You want to thank your captain? What's my name? Go on, say me name. The Doc. Don't thank the doctor. He would have had to do some work. You would have thanked him, but I saved your neck. Come on, let's hear it. Come on, yeah. let's hear it. Hey, good to see you, Captain Bongo. That's way off. What is the matter with you, mate? I'm getting the feeling here, Johnny, you don't know my name. Hey, Johnny. Uh, 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 cut it out. Let's hear it then. Cut you it little out. prick. Oh. Hey, play footy with me for five years, you don't know uh. my name. Uh. 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 You're pissing on my face. You maggot! I knew you were joking with me, mate. You are a funny bugger, mate. Of course you know your favourite captain, eh? The maggot! That's me, name, right? Hey! The maggot! The maggot! You love it. All right, good on you, mate. Sorry about all this, but I'll, uh... Here. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you down the club, Cap. To go around a P's house unannounced, P sometimes won't even answer the door. And you can tell that P's around because the, the TV will be on uh, and you might even see a freshly brewed cup of tea on the coffee table. But if P doesn't want to see you, P is not going to answer the door. And that's P's way. P is also a very conservative dresser. P won't wear tank tops or midriff shirts or low cut jeans. P knows what it wants and it gets it. It doesn't matter if it makes other people unhappy. That's P. Gather round the fire, modern day poets, as the article collective goes R to the A to the P to the shizzle hizzle. The cat in the hat broke down, broke back. All I want to do is freestyle rap. The roots of rap were indeed sown by Dr. Zeus, 
but it took Wonder Mike, Big Bang Hank, and Master G in their seminal track, Rapper's Delight, to blow the doors of expression open for millions of our brothers. Word it up. Now rap, along with the other major tenets of hip 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 hop hooray culture, breaking, graphing, and DJing, is at the critical edge of music and lose it in the noughties. Rapping is not only consigned to the white bread world, you got more land in Lao, Chastushka in Russia, and Sao in Senegal. Gostanzel in Bavaria, and similar traditions in Austria and Switzerland. Consonance, assonance, porosity. <laughs> it's not all bitches and hoes. Making a distant word with similar sounds at some point sound like a rhyme is sometimes considered a mark of a good rapper. An example of a rapper that uses excellent assonance is Eminem. The power that a rapper wields is vast, but like magic there can be a dark side. Rest in peace Biggie, rest in peace Tupac, rest in peace Jam Master J, our brothers. One can only hope that in the future the only warfare in rap will be in the world of freestyle battles where two homies put down their pistols and fight each other with rhymes. Your face is broken, my words are spoken. You is the trash and I'm taking you out. I am the man and there ain't no doubt. Oh, you can dish it out, but I don't think you can take it. Your clothes look like they came straight out of a saver's bin. <sighs> the winner is Art. Today on Artie Cool, we'll be taking a look at the sub underground phenomenon that is freestyle rapid. Luckily for you, the Artie Cool Collective is Australia's preeminent force in freestyle rapping. Rhymes spit out of our lips faster than our lips can move. And today we're pleased to introduce you the world's premier beatboxing maestro, Mr. K Styles. All these sounds, what you is about to hear, is coming from my mouth. All right, guys, you stay tuned, all right, because we're going to come back with a beatboxing, freestyling, arty cool style party marathon, all right? Yeah, yeah, break it down, OK, break it down. Mmm, wake me up, Ebba, for you go-go. Everybody knows my daddy's name is Ippy Pippy Longstocking. Ladies and gentlemen, this is past the mic style. Arty cool, serve dust fresh. Quick, 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 kid. What we doing? Get your picture in my way. Joined here by K Styles, has come all the way from Bristol, England. Here's a human beatbox extraordinaire. <laughs> Big it up for K. All these sounds, what she was hearing, is coming from my mouth. Reality. What it means to me, all the people I see, all the friends I got to meet. Rain falls down my face. window, and I can't see it. All my people get around, it's liberty, it's freedom, it's everything, it's George Bush and all these cribs. Well, anyway, don't, don't worry about the trains, because that's like our lifestyle. Our lifestyle is trains and graph and like gritty, de uh, shallow graves with dog shit in them. You hear that? You hear that up there? That is like the rhythm of life. That's the beat of life. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Rain, rain falls down my window I can't see it all Against the wall, I feel the fall of grace I feel the sun, it touches to my face All the heroin that seeps into the veins Of the poor children on the streets Again and Mama. again I know it must be hard again looking at professional again. rappers like us again You probably don't know how to do it yourself But you might want to Here's a few tips. Fruit basket, carrots, bananas, guava. That's a wrap. Yeah, from before. Cheese, spit it. Cheese in the house. Keep it going. Okay, keep going. Bring back the beat, I am feeling. I'll bring back the beat, I am reeling. I'll bring back the beat and raise your hands up. I'll bring. Wake me up before you go, go. Gotta catch the dandy line down to meet my dad and his friend Mojo. Mojo's weird, he's all f***ed up and strange and I hate him. But anyway, it doesn't matter because I love the Wu-Tang Clan. They're sick, they're sweet, like a bottle of Easy Off Bam. <laughs> all right. The battle, where egos are broken or shot up into space like some sort of spaceship. Who will be the winner, me, Ant, or my main man Kyle here? Kyle. Usually we're the best of friends. But for the next five minutes, we are mortal enemies 
of Raptology. This is Mano a Mano lyric style, and who else better to kick it off? Beatmaster K Style. Give me a BK. Fresh, fresh. <laughs> you got a hat on, what's it holding in? You got no brain, man, and you're super thin. <laughs> Looks like you got a colostomy bag sticking out your pants, are you some sort of f hag? Ooh! Bring it, bring this, bring this, bring this. <laughs> yes! You put me to the test. I uh, gotta say I'm impressed. I really gotta confess your confetti to me. Because I'm kick cooking what you ain't got and we are looking at the hottest thing that ever been. What? What? Oh my god! Now he just killed you. What was that? I mean, you had him after a brain freeze. And it wasn't it's me. A winner. There's, there's a train, there's a train. Wait, and wait, wait, no, keep going, K-Styles, keep going. K-Styles, keep, keep going. I got treble in the place where the base used to. See, I can't. No, no one could do that. The train is there. <laughs> he always oh, gets like that. You he always get that. Keep it going, K Styles. No, keep it going, K Styles. I can redeem. Look, the train's gone. I think it's over, man. I keep it it's going. K let, let it go, man. The lyrics flow from like deep within the. Come on, Carl. Got the good spray. Come on, man. Water and spray, and then I clean. I squeegee and I dry it off. Come on. Could have just said no. This is a group therapy session for men with absent godfathers, where men can discuss the pain of growing up without a godfather. Dr. Archibald de Villiers has been running these sessions for coming up to seven weeks. Nicholas Heine Wardsworth is Dr. de Villiers' only patient and struggles a great deal with his absent godfather. Bart is a local rabid drug dealer who actually has rabies and he only comes for the free saladas. My birthday I'd get, you know, 12 presents. Always 12. Uh, but just, there was never that 13th from my godfather. It was very painful having an absent godfather. Can you recall a particular instance where you felt considerable pain? I remember going to a, f a friend's birthday and I counted, he'd opened his presents, I counted, there were 12 presents, you know, from his family and there was this 13th one just sitting there and I was just praying, it was from a great aunt, you know, and I, s I said, who's that from? I yelled it like that, who's that from? I was... And then he said, it's from my uncle. And for a second I went, oh, and he said, my uncle is my godfather. I, I, I just I couldn't hang it. Do you have my wit bar? I couldn't. Thank you. No, I don't want one of these. I don't want these saladas. What are they here for anyway? This is, this weird guy. Oh, this is painful for me. <laughs> Good on you. That's a big one. Let you want to buy some speed, you sure? Why don't you want speed? I want to speed as shit, man. No, no, I don't want any speed. Thank you. Oh yeah, 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 no. I'll tell you something interesting about me. I've got a collection of anal hair. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Not many people have that. Huh. Uh, I'm trying to, yeah, I think I'll have to block him out, if you know what I mean. <laughs> this is really getting on my nerves, Doctor. <laughs> what, what is this guy doing here? He's just freaking me out. Why is he wearing that wig? Why is he wearing a wig? Why are you wearing that wig? Yeah, nah, I'll tell you, one time, I shot this guy, shot him, and I was like, shit, I'm gonna get caught for his murder, right? I spent two weeks in a storm water drain, it all blew over, it's fine, in the storm water drain, found this, 
Sick, eh? How good does it look? Looks pretty good. Would you just stop it? You stupid little man. What's your problem? You're a loser, mate. What? Are you, yeah, whining about your godfather. Well, I, I'm getting out of here, loser. I'm taking my saladas with you. How could you say that? I'm gonna, I can't take it anymore. My godfather. My godfather. Why didn't he love me right, as much Nick. as his own children? It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Uncommon as great mental distress over an absent godfather may be, Nicholas Heine Wardsworth and Dr. Archibald de Villiers clearly have a long road ahead of them in easing Nicholas's pain. And one day they will hopefully achieve this as long as they stop serving saladas at the group sessions. Again. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise you'd already pressed it. Hello? I'm here. The light's on. Well, I suppose I was just making sure. Oh, thanks. How do we know that you haven't pressed it off? What do you mean? It's happened to a friend of mine. I know it happens. More than one button press risks pressing it off. God. Well, the light's still on. It's a different circuitry altogether. Alright, alright. Well, if I press it off, I'll press it on again. No! no! How do we know how many times it takes to press the button off? Probably three, maybe four. Who knows? Alright, well, what about her over there? How do we know how many times she's pressed the button? Oh, fine. Excuse me? Have you pressed the button off? Let me alone! See? See what you did? This is a disaster. Oh, good. Oh, that's good. Yeah, very You is currently in jail. Uh, you's been in jail for 18 years for a crime that you claims it didn't commit. In prison, you has written six books for children, largely about the evils of drugs, and you is also working on its first novel, which it believes will be out next Christmas time. It's a tale of love and loss and revenge in 1950s Brazil. Benjamin the Spaniel's owner. I came as quickly as I could. Is Benjamin okay? Follow me. Close the door. We admitted young Benjamin last night with what you described as irregular dietary habits. Yeah. I agree that observation was the best measure we took him Is in. Is he okay? No, Miss Esther. Benjamin is not okay. Since last night, Benjamin demonstrated no less than 13 acts of pure, raw filth. So, I don't understand. Behavioural deficiencies, disgusting practices, smut shows. I'm not sure if the irregularities you described extended to Benjamin's talents, but I would certainly agree there is most definitely something wrong. What sort of acts? Testicle licking, bun dragging, urination and defecation everywhere but the supplied hygienic facilities, inappropriate scenting. What's that? Sniffing of other patients and the doctor's privates. Sex craze, dry humping of everyone and everything. Isn't that normal? How do you live? Uh, okay, so, so how did you help him? Benjamin was exercised. What? 
Miss Esther's, your Benjamin spirit was thick with sin and shadows this and darkness. This is so crazy. We acted with professionalism and compassion under the circumstances. However, Look, I... where is Benjamin? However, Benjamin did not survive the procedure. There were complications. What complications? Follow me. Oh my god! He wouldn't respond to verses, he wouldn't respond to holy water. The evil was deep rooted and he stuck within him. He was having trouble eating, not problems dealing with Satan. Oh, Benjamin. Oh, uh, no, no, that's part of the offering. What? It's an old Persian blue. He had nothing to live for. Where is my Benjamin? It's over there. Oh, no, Benji! What has he done to you? Considering the circumstances, you'll only be charged the standard console fee. Really perfectly, didn't it? It was amazing. Yeah.